Hey guys, welcome back to our show. We got a great one lined up that will hopefully give you some great pointers on getting the most out of your steam systems. Now, before we get going, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I can assure you, you're not gonna wanna miss a beat on this channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Go ahead, I'll wait. Got it? Good. All right, so we've been talking a good deal about efficiency inside our steam plants. And today I wanted to dive in a bit further into the subject of efficiency and touch on one of the most effective ways to increase efficiency and that's with a condensate return system and we're doing it right now. So guys first let's take a look at what condensate actually is. As steam travels through systems whether in a process, a heating coil, or an exchanger it begins cooling and reverts back into a liquid phase known as condensate. This condensate, which has been re referenced before as liquid gold of the boiler room, presents a great opportunity to increase plant efficiency. You see, as the steam traverses through systems and condenses, it is for one, usually void now of contaminants from the feed water itself, and two, it's sitting right at the saturation temperature. Now, if you've followed our channel for a while, you can understand where these two factors now come into play. Raw makeup water presents many contaminants that have to be combated that have already been now eliminated with the condensate. And for obvious reasons, the boiler will not have to work nearly as hard to get this condensate back up to its boiling point. The more condensate that we can return to our system, the less makeup water that will be required as a whole. Hence saving fuel costs, makeup water usage, chemicals, and blowdown frequency. Now reducing blowdown frequency in itself is a huge energy saver. Because while a blowdown is simply a waste of energy, it's also what we could just call a necessary evil. The hotter the condensate to a certain extent being returned to a system, the more substantial the fuel savings will be. Let's say, for example, you're wanting to maintain 180 degrees for your feed tank, returning condensate at, say, 150 degrees, then the higher the volume of this hot condensate that you can return means less of the 50 degree makeup water that needs to be brought up to temperature. Now another note worth mentioning is that capturing condensate also reduces the amount of both wasted condensate and boiler blowdown that will ultimately be discharged into the sewage. So the savings from condensate return systems just keep piling up. You know, maybe I shouldn't mention sewage and piling up in the same sentence. So a few things to consider if you're looking to maximize your plant's efficiency through utilizing hot condensate. First, if you don't already have one, consider adding a condensate return system if applicable and economically justified. Some systems may not necessarily produce the return condensate to justify the installation. You will find, however, that most well-engineered systems are not letting any of this heat go to waste. Second, make sure that if you have condensate systems that all of your return lines are well insulated in order to bring all this heat back into service. And finally, a very important aspect is to monitor the systems carefully for even the slightest leaks. When condensate return lines begin to leak, this is where recontamination of the water occurs. As condensate cools, it begins to absorb gases present in the lines. These acidic conditions become extremely aggressive and in corrosion of steam systems as it forms into what is known as carbonic acid. Monitoring for and repairing leaks in condensate systems as soon as they are noticed will reduce the rapid and aggressive condensate rot that can occur. Ultimately, using the correct pipe material and connection methods is best practice for reducing these leaks in the long run. If your plant is considering the installation of a new feed system, then adding condensate return to the mix could ultimately save your facility thousands annually, along with just making for a cleaner and more efficient system. Give us a call here at Power Mechanical if you'd like to discuss the many different feed systems that could be the right fit for your facility.